Agriculture Advisory Council. Key concerns impacting farm economies throughout the Northeast Ohio. to go here is you're a very patient young man. Well, I got to tell you, Mr. Secretary, you're a very patient secretary. Please recognize a gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Miller, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, there we go. And uh, Ranking Member, Mr. Secretary, it's good to see you again. I remember uh, the first comments you gave me, that I'm always the last, usually the last person to go here, is you're a very patient young man. Well, I got to tell you, Mr. Secretary, you're a very patient secretary. Uh, <laughs> so thank you. Um, agriculture is one of Ohio's largest industries, and our state ranks ninth in the nation in the number of farms. However, I've heard firsthand from farmers and livestock producers in my congressional district and through local leaders in my Agriculture Advisory Council, key concerns impacting farm economies throughout the Northeast Ohio region. More troubling is the U.S. Department of Agriculture's most recent farm income forecast released just last week, indicating a 25.5% decrease in farm income from 23, and I know that was touched on earlier. Major priorities I've heard resound from our region's farmers include strengthening the farm safety net, ensuring viable access to risk management tools, incentive-based conservation initiatives, innovative technology, research, expanding biofuels, trade market promotion, safeguarding animal health, USDA meat inspection partnerships, robust career technical education, including training tools to lift the underserved, and key areas to strengthen Ohio's farm economy. I have several questions, including the rising agricultural trade deficit of $30 billion and loss of trade opportunities expanding crop markets through sustainable aviational fuels, including my bipartisan bicameral Farm to Fly Act and critical GREEP modeling updates. And on behalf of the Ohio Department of Agriculture, concerns related to cost share partnerships and meat inspections. If we are not able uh, to cover all of my questions today, which I, I know that we're not, uh, I'm going to submit them and I, I, I would respectfully ask if you guys could uh, give us a response in writing. So, uh, trade. While international trade is critical to Ohio and United States agricultural producers, USDA's most recent outlook for the U.S. agricultural trade signaled the agricultural trade deficit nearly doubled last year, rising to $30 billion. Straining the ability of the U.S. producers to meet global food demands, the USDA report detailed trade losses is driven by reductions in grain and feed, livestock, poultry, and dairy exports. For this reason, I am working with several of my colleagues, including Representatives Duarte, Craig, and Feenstra, on a letter to you and Ambassador Ty, seeking U.S. strong leadership in global agricultural trade. Mr. Secretary, finally, I get to the question. Uh, I'm out of breath. So, Mr. Secretary, for roughly 60 years, the U.S. ran an agricultural trade surplus. Well, that is no longer the case, and over 30 major U.S. farm organizations through the President's Export Council have called to expand export market opportunities for United States food and agriculture. Can you please detail your plans to address this trade deficit and empower American producers to remain leaders in the global trade market? Uh, we recently announced our uh, regional agriculture promotion program designed to expand opportunities in some of the lesser known market opportunities which we think will allow us to diversify so we're no longer as uh, t totally reliant on China. Uh, the reality is when the Chinese economy suffers, uh, basically uh, exports suffer. Uh, when, we're, when our economy is stronger than any other economy in the, in, in the industrialized world, uh, our consumers are able to purchase more, world consumers are able to purchase less, that impacts exports. Um, the fact that we, for too many years, ignored our infrastructure needs, allowed our competitors to catch up with us. Now we're trying to address the infrastructure needs. That's also part of it. But we did put this uh, RAP program together in an effort to try to invest in more presence, more trade missions, more promotions, more ability to get the word out about U.S. products. Uh, I think we will be cost competitive, and I think you're going to continue to see uh, an uptick in exports. Uh, we did have record years in exports the last couple of years. Uh, and I expect and anticipate that we will get uh, we will get that surplus back, but it's going to take a day, a year or two. Yeah, and, and thank you for that detailed answer. And I know you look at this through this lens, and I'm speculating, so I shouldn't speak for you or anybody else. But uh, with trade comes national security implications in terms of strengthening our, our relationships with foreign countries. And all I ask is that we continue to explore any of those opportunities as the world is how it is right now, and looking to strengthen our relationships with just people around the globe. I think is extremely beneficial. Uh, I'm just going to go right into what I just talked about earlier about agriculture and meat inspection cost share. I'm just going to go right to the question, Mr. Secretary. Given the critical nature of broadening meat inspection capabilities, which I understand has been a priority to this administration, what options is USDA considering providing the maximum 50% reimbursement to state meat inspection programs? Well, 
if we have a budget, we're in a position to do more. So well, pass the budget. I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be an impossible task right now. Okay. Uh, second, um, actually, we're out of time, Mr. Secretary. I have the questions. I'll submit them to you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your patience. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Ships and meat inspections. If we are not able uh, to cover all of my questions today, which I know leadership in global agricultural trade, Mr. Secretary, finally, I get to the secretary. Uh, <laughs> so thank you. Um, agriculture is one of Ohio's largest, and on behalf of the Ohio Department of Agriculture, Concerns related to cost share partnerships. Please recognize a gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Miller, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Year, rising to $30 billion. Straining the ability of U.S. producers to meet global forecasts released just last week, indicating a 25.5% decrease in farm income demands the USDA report detailed trade losses as driven by reductions in grain and feed lives Ohio region. More troubling is the U.S. Department of Agriculture's most recent farm income forecast. Give us a response in writing. So, uh, Trade. While international